wow, there, there's really no other words to say from Gene Cox Stadium. So honestly, Dominic, I'm not even going to say them. It, it's really tough to be here and witness what we witnessed, seeing the agony of defeat of the Florida High Seminoles. They've put everything into this game, a 38-31 defeat at the hands of the Coco Tigers in overtime after scoring with just three seconds on the clock to push it to overtime. I mean, this was an instant classic, and you, you, your heart goes out to those kids. But what a performance, what a game for the 2S state championship here in Florida. You mentioned it right up till the end. We were talking about one of the all-time greatest games ever played in a Florida <laughs> state title game. And I got to tell you, start to finish, the 3,000-plus that were here at Gene Cox tonight certainly got their money's worth. Jam-packed Gene Cox Stadium tonight for the Florida High Seminoles, the Coco Tigers, the 2S State Championship. Place absolutely slammed for this one. Nearing the end of the first quarter, not much happening here, but Mal Saitau knocks in the 25-yard field goal. That breaks the scoreless tie. The Tigers have it 3-0 after the first. All right, here come the Knolls, though. They start their drive. Makai Danzi making moves to the second level. Burst of speed. That's a pick up of 40. The Knolls are a knocking here in the second frame. Couple plays later, Jalen Carter rumbling his way in, punches it from two yards out. Florida High is on the board. Florida High has the lead. 7-3 here in the second quarter. Makoko quarterback Blake Boda, he's uh, really good. 47 touchdowns on the year for a reason. Lofts up a butte into the waiting arms of a wide open C.J. Bragg. Touchdown Tigers, 25 yards for the score. Coco back in front, 10-7. But here we go again, just a minute and the half. Knowles deep in their own territory. Jeremy Johnson, slant route, Ashton Hampton, up in the green grass, nobody to touch him. 61 yards to the barn in a flash. The Knowles thought they were going to be trailing. They're up 14-10 in the halftime locker room. Man, and we thought that first half couldn't be beat. Well, we were wrong. Buckle up. Tigers, a long drive to start the half. Capped off a Boda touchdown on the ground this time. Coco on top, 17-14 early in the third quarter. A little later, thought things might take a tumble here for Florida High, but Johnson looking to the flap. Oh, no. Caleb Dobbs in stride, 44 yards to the house. A pick six puts Coco back on top by 10 points, 24 to 14. Far from over though, the Knowles wake up. Makai Danzi, there goes that man again, 20 yards to the barn. Yes, sir, Knowles within three. Look, punch, counter punch. Coco, here we go. A beautiful pitch and catch from Boda to Day Day Farmer. Stays on his feet somehow. Mm. That's a touchdown, and the Tigers are back in the driver's seat. All right, here we go. Knowles hit a field goal to bring them within seven. Four minutes to play. They get a stop. Ball back. Two minutes in the game, down seven. What you dream of? Yes, yeah, 17 seconds left. Fourth and 10 from the 15. Johnson scrambling, looking. He finds his man, Ryder Popple. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Three seconds to play, and the Knowles tie it up. They elect to go for one, kick the PAT and we're headed to overtime. Overtime in the state championship. What else do you want? Coco scores on his first possession, first play actually of overtime. Up to the Knowles now to counter, down 38-31. Trying to run between the tackles and oh, the ball comes out. Coco mm. falls all over it. The Tigers get the turnover on downs and the Tigers are your 2S state champion. This one, an absolute thriller from start to finish, but a heartbreaking end as the Knowles fall 38-31. And Coach Hickman, he, you could see he was feeling it after this game and he was at a loss for words, but put it into perspective how proud he was of his guys. Yeah, I mean, I think this group is the 2002, you know, 22 state champions. I mean, you know, we won't say it there, but they deserve it. They've earned it. And, and I, you know, it doesn't make any sense, but that's life. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of a bunch of group and alumni and, and coaches that just deserve this. Uh, you know, this group, our family, our organization, almighty. They deserve uh, this. Dom, you hear the dejection, but I tell you what else you hear there. You hear a guy you want your kids to play for. Yeah. I mean, absolutely every fiber of Coach Hickman's being put into this season, put into these kids, and it just comes up a little short because at the end of the day, somebody had to lose. Like he said, he believes his team is state championship worthy, and they are. 38-31 in overtime. I mean, fumbling on the last play is a tough, is a tough way to lose as you're ever going to see, but proud of the team. It was great to cover all year, and it was a classic state championship game. Absolutely, but for now, from Gene Cox Stadium, he's Dom, I'm Ryan, WCTV Sports.